I'm so happy to be back. I have had such a busy schedule. I graduated college. I've been trying to get into the workforce. I've been doing prom makeups and weddings and I'm going to Florida in a couple days. My schedule has just been so insane, but I'm so happy to be back. I have an awesome makeup look for you guys. If you can't tell by the title, it is a natural, summery, gorgeous look using my finest products. Okay. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. Let all your friends know who your favorite Jersey girl is, and I will catch you guys soon. I promise I won't be going this long ever again. I love you guys. Hey guys, so before I even started, I used the Sunday Riley Good Jeans to prep my face, and then I went in with my La Mer Soft Cream and applied it all over. Love this stuff. And I also used my La Mer Intense Eye Balm Treatment under my eyes. This literally prevents any creasing from happening. And then, of course, I used the Farsley Unicorn Essence Drops. I can't stop using these. I didn't know if the hype was real, but let me tell you, it is. This stuff is amazing. And I like to really press this into my skin. And this product, just so you know, helps your makeup to not move or slide anywhere. Then, of course, I went in with my Urban Decay Soothing Soft Focus Effect. It, it helps remove any blemishes, any redness. I love it. And then I went in with my Cover FX Enhancement Drops in Moonlight. Can't get enough of this. These are perfect for a dewy, summery, glowy look. So I applied on all the high points, kind of like smeared around a little bit. I know that looks weird, but it works. And um, it just makes your face glow from within. So then I'm going to take this Morphe foundation brush. I've been using this nonstop. Spray it with my Kat Von D setting spray, which I love. It smells like pears. And I'm going to start blending in that glow. In order to use these kinds of glowy drops like the uh, Cover FX drops or any other brands, your skin needs to be really moisturized because if it's not, the product can become texturized on your skin and nobody wants that. So make sure you're moisturized and use that spray a couple times in between. Then I'm gonna take this little Graftobian mixing plate, you can use anything, and the YSL Touch a Hunt foundation. I love this stuff. This shade is in BRD40, and I'm adding in a drop of the Cover FX Enhancer Drops as well. I'm mixing it all together with a brush, and I'm just applying it on my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with my Booty Blenza. I love this foundation. It's full coverage, but it is so lightweight, and they have a great shade range. Then I'm going to take that same Morphe foundation brush and use it to kind of blend everything together. It does have a little bit of uh, excess product left over. So again, that's just going to help to make us super duper glowy. Then I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Super Genius Gel Foundation. It's in 34. In my left hand is the old one. In my right hand is the new Marc Jacobs Foundation. The old one, if you remember, is a screw top, kind of has a dipper. The new one is a pump, which I love. So I took two pumps of that. And again, with that same brush, I'm just applying that in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. And again, with that same foundation brush, I'm just blending everything together, spraying my face with that same Kat Von D spray, and then I'm picking up my Hoola Bronzer Quickie Stick. And the first few times I used this, I wasn't thrilled about it, but I am absolutely in love with it now. So I am chiseling those cheeks, 
that forehead, the jawline, the nose, you know the drill. Then I'm gonna take my trusty beauty blender and blend upwards and blend that contour out. I'm gonna leave my nose contour alone though. I'm not touching that yet. And I'm going to grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is still one of my faves. And I'm going to apply that under my eyes, but I'm not loading it up under the eyes like we normally do for a full glam look or like pulling it all the way out. We're really just keeping it right under the eyes for a little bit of coverage. Of course, I'm still going to put it in those little areas that I hate. And on my smile lines, my chin, that little blemish that I have, and on my forehead a little bit, but I'm going to do it carefully. For the nose, I got a new trick for y'all. But for now, I'm going to put some concealer on the bridge of my nose, and I'm also going to put that concealer right on that contour line literally right underneath, and I'm gonna drag it on the side of my nose. Then we're gonna start blending everything out under our eyes, our forehead, those smile lines, you know the drill, save the nose contour for last. Okay, back to the nose. So, you're going to use that concealer on the side of your nose to blend out those contour lines. So you're kind of using it and blending like upwards towards your nose. And then worry about the contour lines that are up near your brows and on the tip of your nose. Then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder with this Morphe Flap Fluffy and I'm going to apply that under my eyes to make sure I don't crease. Again, don't bring it all the way out. We're keeping it right under our eyes because we want to stay glowy and dewy. And again for the nose, pack that powder on the side of the nose like you normally would and then just drag a little bit on the bridge. Okay, for brows. Again, this is a natural look, so we're going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three. So first, I'm just brushing out those brows. I've been trying to grow them out a little bit. And then I'm going to start drawing a line underneath the brow and just connect everything together. Once I've done that on the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Again, just drawing a line, following the shape, connecting it all together. Then I'm going to start filling in the brows with short, light-handed strokes. Just little tiny lines. When I get to the front of my brow, I'm going to lighten my hand up even more, and I'm going to turn the pencil on its side. I've showed you that trick before. I'll link my brow tutorial below. And then I'm going to use a spoolie to brush everything through to make sure they're not too harsh. Then I'm taking this bar of soap. It's from Lush Cosmetics. It is everything. It smells so good. And I'm using these disposable spoolies. You can get a bag of like 500 off Amazon for like a dollar. So I'm spraying the spoolie with my setting spray. And then I'm going to run that in the soap and make sure it's soapy but not too soapy. I'm spraying it again and then I'm going to start running that through my brows and I'm brushing my brows upward. I'm brushing the hairs upward. See? This technique is going to give you the most fluffy, full, beautiful brows. I love it. Try it. Use clear soap. Then I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre with this Morphe Flat Brush and I'm going to just clean up my brows a little bit. I kind of like to place the product down a little bit lower, not right underneath my brow, and then kind of blend it upwards to clean everything up. 
and I just use my finger to blend that in, especially with a natural look. You don't want like super carved out brows. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Eye Primer and again use my fingers and just prime those lids. Then I'm using that same brush we used to set the under eyes with a little more Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent powder, and I'm just setting that primer down. Then I'm going to go into my Z palette and pick up the shade Birkin. It's a shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm using my BH Cosmetics number no. 6 fluffy brush and I'm using that shade as my transition color. I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty palette and pick up the shade Sandalwood and again I'm going to use that as a transition shade just to darken up that shade Birkin a little bit and I'm bringing it all the way down into my eye and I'm also dragging it out. I had to show you guys Diesel because he just wants to do makeup. He has to be right up there with mommy. Yes, you give me all the kisses you want. Then I'm going to go into the Kai Shadow Burgundy palette and pick up the two shades right here. I think it's Penny and Beach. And I'm going to use that as my crease color. And I'm looking downward. So I'm holding a mirror down low, looking down so I can really see where that crease is. Then I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder with a MAC 224. And I'm using that to diffuse everything so it's not so harsh. This helps everything to blend really well. Then in that Huda Beauty palette, I'm picking up that off-white shade and using it as my brow highlight with a flat, fluffy brush. Then I'm picking up my NYX MYX Glitter Glue, applying a little bit on that metal plate. And then I'm picking up the MAC Pigment in the shade Tan. But first, I'm going to cut my crease with that glitter glue. So just like if you were doing a cut crease and you were using your concealer for your lid, do the same thing with the glitter glue with one flat brush, then pick up another flat brush and apply the pigment or the glitter. I like to use a patting motion because I feel like it really packs the pigment or the glitter in. And I love this shade because it's natural, but it really brightens your eyes up. And then with that same BH brush, I'm just blending everything together. And I'm just using a Sephora flat fluffy brush. I'm picking up the shade Beach and applying that on my bottom lash line. I'm using this huge fluffy brush to wipe away any fallout. And then I'm going to pick up my Lily Lashes. I forget the style. I will list it below. I apologize. I like to put these on my fingers to kind of form them so they're not so straight and difficult to put on. And I'm also using my Tarte Double Take Liner, the pencil side. And I am just applying that on the top lash line. Then with that burgundy shade in the Kai Shadow palette, I'm going to smudge that liner out. Again, so it's more of a natural look. Then I'm going to apply my Duo Lash Glue on those lashes since they've kind of formed and let them sit another minute with the glue so it gets tacky. But in the meantime, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder in number two and I'm using my pointed Morphe brush. I'll list the exact number below and applying that powder in my T-zone area where I would get oily. Then I'm using my Tarte Lash Applicators. I love these things. And I'm applying my lashes. These applicators really help. Then I'm using my Marc Jacobs Gel Liner in the baby pink shade on my waterline. And then I'm picking up my Smashbox Lash Primer and applying that on my bottom lashes. Then I'm using my Dior Dior Show Mascara on my top lashes and my MAC mascara on my bottom lashes. Then I'm taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm using my angled Morphe brush and I'm using this bronzer to just kind of bronze up my face and bring some color back.
And I'm using my Morphe M139 brush and I'm using that to contour my nose. My mom called here so that's why you see me talking. We were talking about our trip. And I'm also taking that bronzer in the corner of my eye like the hollow so it blends everything together so well. I love this trick. Then I'm going into my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, picking up that middle bronzy shade and using that to really bronze up the cheeks and blend everything together. Then I'm using my Ciate London Dewy Stick. I love this thing. Applying that on my high points and then blending it out with my finger. And then I'm going to use these two shades out of the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going to apply that over the Ciate London Dewy Stick with my Sephora Pro Crease 10 brush. Making sure we are super duper glowy bitches. Then I'm using this really white shade, and I'm applying this on the super high point, like the highest point of your cheekbone. And then I'm using my Tarte blush in Parte. Yes, bitch. And I'm applying that to my cheeks, and then taking the two pink and peachy shades in that glow kit and applying that over the blush. I love this trick. I love putting a light shade on your cheekbone, like the high point, and I love using a pink highlighter as a blush. So then I'm spraying my face with my Fix Plus and my Urban Decay All Nighter, taking that white shade in the hollow of my eye and also on my collarbone and my shoulders. I love this trick, especially in the summer. It just makes you look like a bronze goddess. I forgot to put lipstick on while I was filming, so you're about to see me do that in my robe. It's the Tom Ford lipstick in number 31. Love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. Let all your friends know who your favorite Jersey girl is, and I will catch you guys soon. I love you guys.